So accepting the award for 49er Stadium, Roger Rogan, Director of Engineering Operations at Levi Stadium. Congratulations, Roger. Pat Rogan, excuse me. My, my brother's name is Roger. Hi, everybody. We're, there's a reason why we're all here, and it's a real good reason. So um, please don't confuse me with the boiler room zombie and the walking dead on the video. I'm not much of an actor. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'd really like to thank uh, Actera for their consideration and choice in this, uh, what we consider very prestigious award uh, in the Sustainable Built Environment Project Group. Um, when they first approached us with this, we thought it was wonderful. I know we went against great competition for this. Um, the reason why everybody's here, uh, we hope to be back next year because now, since we have one, we don't like to lose one. <laughs> so we'll, we'll nip into the little categories just to get it. So watch out, we're still there and we're getting greener by the day. So um, Levi Stadium was actually a vision of the York family to develop and design the most sustainable building uh, for sports in the country. And I think we've really hit the mark on this. Uh, they were instrumental in moving us down to Santa Clara. Uh, the recycled water program is just unbelievable here. Um, our president, Al Guido, and our uh, vice president of stadium operations, Jim Mercurio, who I wish could be here. Um, we started designing this years and years ago, and we designed it on the fact that we wanted to be that guy. Uh, Roger and I opened up Pac Bell together. We were ran it almost 11 years. We came down here, started working for the 49ers, and we transformed this into three pack bells in terms of sustainability. We are, uh, during the Super Bowl, we hosted uh, a couple of months ago, although it seems like you know, a million years ago already to us. Um, we had the most sustainable event ever recorded by the NFL. We had a 75% diversion rate with 80,000 people that had never been there. Unbelievable. Um, also, might add, it was one of the most successful Super Bowls the NFL's ever had, and that's because of the neighboring communities and everything that just worked. Uh, nobody died and the lights stayed on, so that's the two primary functions. <laughs> and the beer was cold, toilets worked. Um, we're currently in design-build phase for a vegetable and herb garden. Uh, we're working with Farmscape on that to put a 4,000-square-foot vegetable growing roof. We're going to bring the kids uh, up there, teach them how to do it, and we're going to use the food in our products uh, that we sell with our partner center plate. Um, and, and lastly, we recycle water program is really key. We're on our 40 millionth gallon that we've taken out and put back in. It just keeps, it's the gift that keeps on coming. Um, not too many people are drinking it yet, but what we wanna do is we really want the state, because we had to develop a program with the state. They'd never seen the purple pipes in the the potable pipes living together. And we developed the program. We did tons of work to get them to approve everything. What we'd like them to start looking at now is using it for fountains, using it to clean, and using it to fill swimming pools. It's purified water. It's really good stuff. So if anybody's interested in that, I'm easy to find. I'd like to get on them about that. Uh, this won't be our last drought. I'm old enough to have lived through several of these. I remember bricks in the toilet tanks and uh, shower every other day. So um, again, we'd like to thank uh, Actera for all this and uh, go Niners. <laughs>